Hi everyone. In probability theory, people are sometimes confused about the difference between when two events are incompatible and when two events are independent. Let's discover the maths. First of all, we should emphasize how important it is to understand the basic concepts of probability. Many students think that just by doing lots of exercises and problems in probability, everything will be fine. But that's not a good strategy. If you don't have a grasp of the fundamental concepts, then you're inevitably going to struggle with the problems. So let's quickly go over the basic concepts of probability theory. A random experiment is one in which chance intervenes. In a random experiment, your sample space E is the set of all possible outcomes, and an event is a subset of the sample space. Two special types of events in a random experiment are the impossible event, which corresponds to the empty set, and the certain event, which corresponds to the total set E. Remember also that we have defined operations between events, which correspond to operations between sets. We need to be aware that if A and B are two events, event A or B corresponds to A union B, and event A and B corresponds to A intersection B. Two events are incompatible if they can't occur at the same time. In other words, if A and B is impossible. In this case, A intersection B is the empty set. If two events are incompatible by the definition of probability, the probability of the union of these is the sum of the probabilities of A and B. In general, the probability of the union is the sum of the probabilities of A and B minus the probability of the intersection. Note that in the particular case where events A and B are incompatible, this formula reduces to the previous one. If two events A and B are independent, this means that the occurrence of A doesn't influence the occurrence of B and vice versa. Actually, the definition of independent events is that the probability of their intersection is the product of the probabilities. Notice then that if A and B are independent, knowing the probabilities of A and B, we can calculate the probability of A intersection B. And from this, from the previous formula, the probability of the union of these events. So, to summarize, if A and B are incompatible, this means that A and B is impossible. And if A and B are independent, this means that the occurrence of one doesn't influence the occurrence of the other and vice versa. It's very important not to confuse these concepts. Thanks very much for watching. Leave any comments you have below. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.